Hi, Nick here, CEO and founder of MySpray Therapeutics. Today I'd like to share with you my pain liniment. I've been in clinical practice for 20 years dealing with pain and pain management. We've tried it all, and, and, and you probably have as well. If you're dealing with pain, you've tried it all. There's countless different uh, creams, ice gels, heat creams, glucosamine creams, arnica creams. The list is endless when we really look at what's on the marketplace for uh, dealing with pain uh, and pain management with a topically applied product. The problem with all of those is we have to understand that the skin is a barrier. So when we use those, they're known as counter irritants. Essentially, they're making the skin feel hot or cold or giving you that sensation to distract you from the pain, but not getting to the actual source of the pain and where the problem really lies. This product, unlike anything else, has that ability. We have uh, been working with DMSO, dimethyl sulfoxide. Now, for many years, it's been around since the 1800s. It comes as a result of when you take a tree and you turn it into pulp. That liquid that the chunks of bark and cellulose fibers and all of this goes through, that liquid becomes DMSO. So it's completely natural. It's also non-patentable, and that's why it hasn't had a huge influx uh, globally. But it has that ability to penetrate all cells. So within seconds, it's right into the muscles, the joints, the ligaments, the tendons, right where the source of the pain and the problem is. Now with that, it does a few key things. Number one, it blocks the peripheral C nerve fibers. So what that means, it's gonna stop the pain. And that happens, if you check out some of the testimonials with a lot of different situations, it's almost instant. Uh, the second thing that it's really a key uh, at doing is acting as an antioxidant, eliminating a lot of the free radicals of inflammation and the complications of inflammation. And it'll also, uh, as it increases some localized blood flow, uh, promote healing uh, at a faster rate. So it does some key things other than making the skin feel hot or cold. And this is what makes it so unique. Now, again, it hasn't been approved uh, in different regions of the world for various different reasons uh, over the years. It has been approved now by Health Canada, and we've been working on developing this formula for probably the last five years clinically. The uh, DMSO by itself has always been known to have some complications or, or side effects. And ultimately, that it can become a little bit harsh on the skin, uh, cause a little bit of redness, itchiness, uh, but the key thing is because it's so rich in sulfur, it stinks like garlic uh, or oysters. Garlic oysters is a good way of looking at it. We needed to eliminate it, those side effects. And that's what took us a long time to uh, make sure that this product, my pain liniment, is easy on the skin. There's a few other key ingredients that helps to eliminate or minimize these side effects. It's easy on the skin. It doesn't create the garlic smell. As a matter of fact, it's a nice mint smell. Uh, so it's unique all to itself. The key is, is it's approved by Health Canada. So we understand the regulatory side of this. We understand that the product, the purity, the quality needs to be of the highest standards in the world. That's Health Canada's standards. That's what we abide by. There's a lot of just raw DMSO floating around that may not be a high USP medicinal grade, pharmaceutical grade. Uh, there's a lot that uh, in the US that are not. You have to be cautious. DMSO has some amazing abilities. You owe it to yourself to try the DMSO, especially my pain liniment being so user-friendly, that see what it does for your pain. Appreciate your time. Cheers, enjoy your day.